Okay, well, I thought I was going to show you um, what I do in Unity, and uh, this is uh, Unity. This is um, a game engine. It's meant to, to make um, computer games, basically. And I'm using it to build this motion queuing algorithm. And um, these are all my objects that I have in here. These are all my scripts, and I can use them the way I like. Now, um, let's uh, for a moment just imagine that uh, this is actually empty and I have really nothing. And the way I want this to work eventually in, in my own software is I want people to be able to, to plug together their motion queuing algorithms the way they just like and feel and whatever they want to do with it in a very intuitive um, graphical user interface. So basically what I'm doing here is what I eventually want to be able to do in my software. So let's just assume you want to, uh, to read data from a um, network stream. So you just drag in a server and then that server is supposed to be sending data. Uh, well, it's, it runs in its own thread. So I need to go from one thread to another. I give it an airlock, so it talks to an airlock to get it to its uh, to another uh, thread. Otherwise they can't communicate. And I have an airlock reader that reads from that and that airlock reader is supposed to send it to a stream and that stream sends it to the processor and that has a bunch of streams and let's say I want to use the uh, indicated air stream uh, indicated airspeed stream and I want to send that signal through a frequency splitter for example and from that frequency splitter uh, as you can see here it has an in-stream outstream high pass low pass filter and let's say I want to send it to another stream that then displays it as a well, let's, let's let it talk it to an Arduino. Well, and that is basically the, a hierarchy that I'm creating. And one object pushes the information off to the next one. And um, I can manipulate these objects any way I like, like the frequency splitter. I can basically tell it, okay, well, the in-stream, it's, it's, this is your in-stream. And the out-stream you're talking to is, um, uh, I want the low frequency content, so send it here. And your low pass filter frequency splitter is supposed to work like this. This is your exponential moving average. It's a parameter that I can set all by dragging and dropping it. And that's basically how I like to be able to plug together a motion queuing algorithm and then eventually have it talk to an Arduino and do everything uh, using these sliders. For example, if I need a, a signal generator in here, I can tell it to, well, be a sine wave or be Perlin noise or like if you're a sine wave, then I want you to be at this frequency and this amplitude and outstream. Well, I want you to talk to this stream and then it talks to that stream and then other objects can use that stream to get their data so you can basically play around with these sliders and values to eventually get your motion queuing algorithm the way you want um, i know that that gives um, users a lot of freedom and um, also probably a lot of responsibility um, because they can screw things up quite nicely but i think that is the way to go i want i would like to be able to to manipulate literally everything um, inside these motion queuing algorithms the way I want. And I would like to give people an intuitive way of being able to do that. Just what you've seen here in the, in the, um, in the Unity uh, hierarchy is what I would like to create with objects and then basically draw lines and pipes and, and adjust sliders to be able to have the, the outcome that you like. So that's basically my idea of what I want to do with it. And um, well, I'm going to continue. If you feel entertained, then continue this thread uh, and watch this thread. And yeah, I will keep you posted as to what I'm about to be doing next. So bye. See you. Thanks for your attention. It's been quite a few videos here. So um, enjoy.